Tampa Bay's number one rated late news. This is 10 News at 11. Just 21 and engaged, we are learning much more tonight about the Bradenton soldier who made the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tammy Fields. Thank you for joining us. Army Specialist Patrick Lay died in Afghanistan when he was hit by an improvised explosive device. Tim News reporter Althea Paul tells us much more about the soldier after speaking with those who knew him best. The last 24 hours have been a, a very big roller coaster ride of emotions. Emotions that Dale Eason never expected he'd have to feel so soon for his nephew. Until his death. Now, Lay's close family members plan to be at Dover Air Force Base in Delaware today for the arrival of his body. No word just yet on funeral arrangements. Tammy. Sad story, Althea. Thank you for that. The Gainesville preacher who burned the Quran and set off protests overseas says he's planning a rally in New York City ahead of the 10th anniversary of the September 11th terrorist attacks. Tips. Tonight, police in Pinellas Park are searching for two men who robbed a woman at gunpoint and stole her car. It happened early this morning as a woman was just trying to do her job delivering newspapers. She's a vendor and was delivering newspapers to this machine in Pinellas possible. Congresswoman Michelle Bachman took home a victory at the Iowa Straw Poll today. Nearly 17,000 people voted in the first contest that gives us a snapshot of the Republican field. The Tea Party favorite edged out Ron Paul by just 1% next year. In this tight economy, just about everyone is watching their budget, looking for a good deal, especially when it comes to buying groceries. Well, tonight, an organization claims it can help all of us stretch our dollars, regardless of our income, a savings, they say, of 50% off the local grocery store prices. The kitchen is one of the busiest places in the Chapman family's apartment here in Cleveland. Coming up on 10 News. Parents out stocking up this weekend on back to school essentials and saving a whole lot of cash too. How you can save on everything from clothing to school glue. The Rays try to continue their five game win streak as they face off against the Yankees in the Bronx. Press all break down the round three of the PGA Championship and give you a golf tip so you can perfect your game. Those stories later in sports. And Nicole, let's take everyone outside to Tampa Catholic High School. We have a temperature right now of a balmy 82 degrees after a high today of 90. We had a few thunderstorms across the area. We're going to track the possibilities for your Sunday if you're making those outdoor plans. And we're also going to tell you about a brand new tropical depression in the Atlantic. It's coming up right after the break. If you join us late for 10 News, you can see what you missed with Start Over, exclusively from Bright House Networks. World. It's time for Bucks football on 10 News. It's time for a preseason battle when our Bucks take on Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. Coverage starts Thursday night right here on 10 News. Ten News weather is brought to you by Morgan and Morgan for the people. If you were out at the stores today, you probably noticed parents are taking advantage of tax-free shopping as the kids get ready to head back to class. Mother of three, Trisha Schmidt, took her list to Target. Good calls there, and thank goodness the weather, Chris. Yeah. It was hot out there, but it was still sunny and nice, at least for a part of the day. Well, you know, and that's just it. I mean, it's Florida. It's it's August, so uh, if, you, if you're not means. getting the storms, you better believe it's going to be hot and humid that's if you're going right. to be outside. Uh, captured a little bit earlier this evening, the beautiful full moon on display. And the, the great thing about the moon here this evening is we also have had a veil of some real high thin cloudiness at times, giving it a little bit more of an extra glow. So that's our Saturday evening full moon. That'll be with us for a portion of the night. We're going to start off our weather forecast tonight with a review of the tropics here because now we're starting to really crank up that Atlantic Basin. Very classic, hot, humid uh, afternoon storms. And we'll be watching the tropics down into the Caribbean by next weekend. Wow. Yep. We're getting used to that pattern, though. Late August to September, peak of hurricane season. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Chris. Okay. Straight ahead, everyone. FC Tampa Bay hosting Minnesota right here in St. Pete tonight. Plus, get to know Desmond Jennings. He's been making a splash with the race since his recent call up from the minors. Nicole's going to have those stories and much more for you next in sports.
If you join us late for 10 News, you can see what you missed with Start Over, exclusively from Bright House Networks. Welcome back to sports. The Rays enter today's matchup with the Yankees on a five-game win streak and feeling good after beating them with pitching a CC Sabathia on the mound just last night. Well, today, Joe Madden's squad was hoping for more of the same, but it just wasn't in the cards this Well, that's going to do it for us, folks. We are out of time here. Don't forget, though, that you can check in with us any time of the day at WTSP.com for news, weather, and uh, the various on sports, too. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Good night.